Hi, my name is Amani Mathre and I was one of St. Lucia's Island Scholars for the year 2013. With full support from the government of St. Lucia, I was able to pursue my undergraduate degree in 2015. I studied media and international development at the University of East Anglia in the United Kingdom. Following the successful completion of my degree, I returned home to St. Lucia in 2018 and I began a career as a journalist at one of the leading media houses in St. Lucia. I was in that role for three years and it was one of the most rewarding experiences I've ever had. A lot of networking, a lot of new opportunities, lifelong skills that I'm very, very grateful for. As it stands, I recently resigned from the media and I'm currently working as a freelancer. I have different roles in various areas including communications, news reporting and creative writing. I am currently working on what I hope will become my first published book and I'm also preparing to pursue my master's degree once more in the United Kingdom, hopefully in the year 2022. I believe I gave back to St. Lucia in a significant way during my recent stint as a journalist. It put me in a position to be able to lift many marginalized voices and bring attention to some serious social issues. I was fortunate to be in a position to help many people who needed charity, who needed donations. But more significantly, I think I also helped to raise the political consciousness of many young people. Through my work as a journalist, I would like to believe that I helped people recognize the importance of transparency, accountability, and also being very much aware of the political processes in your own country. As we celebrate 43 years of independence, I want to say to all St. Lucians to remember that we are very much capable. We may not be the largest country on a map, a physical map, but we've always made it clear that we can carve out a space for ourselves on the global stage. It makes me so proud every time I see our athletes, musicians, professionals, our innovators, our creatives being celebrated on the global stage. And I hope that in the future, we all continue to get the resources we need and to make the right connections to be able to show the world what St. Lucia has to offer. Happy Independence. Hi, my name is Sonovnik Destang. I'm the executive director of Bay Gardens Resorts. Uh, so I am the very fortunate and eternally grateful recipient of the 1999 Island Scholarship from the Government of St. Lucia. Uh, I studied uh, at Sir Arthur Lewis a mixture of subjects. Uh, I was always known as a science and math person. So when I finally decided to study business as my um, first degree, I think it surprised a lot of people. Um, because a lot of people are aware that um, both of my sisters, including the 1987 Island Scholar, Dr. Tanya destang Bobran, um, went into the medical field. Uh, but to be honest with you, um, medicine uh, never really interested me as a profession, um, neither did engineering. Um, all I knew um, at the time in the late 1990s was that uh, I really loved math and uh, that I really hated accounting, which was very ironic given uh, my later career choices and that I was really enthralled with the happenings of the financial market. Um, you know, I was really grateful for the support that I got um, at that time from uh, my friends, my family, uh, my classmates, um, who included my uh, wife, well, girlfriend at the time, Juliana. Uh, she and all my classmates really encouraged me to really work towards my goals and to work hard and to also consider Canada as a potential choice um, for, for schooling, something that I've never looked at before. But getting the Island Scholarship really opened up a lot of opportunities for me because uh, at the time finance was not offered at the University of the West Indies and um, I basically had to go out um, of the Caribbean to, to really study it. And um, the school that um, I chose was, was and still is ranked as one of the top business programs in the world and very known for finance, of course, but um, also very well known um, for diversity and corporate social responsibility, which will become very important to me later on in life. Uh, you know, it was a great experience for these four years, and uh, graduation was really a proud day for all of us. At some point in graduation, they announced that um, I was the, um, the person who had received the highest um, grade point average um, from that faculty, but I don't think anyone remembered that, to be honest with you. I think all they remembered was um, the, those flags and the fact that um, there was someone from this country called St. Lucia. Many of them either never heard of or certainly not seen the flag. Uh, so after eight years in, in Canada, um, and both um, my wife and I, who she's also a chartered accountant, um, decided to move back to St. Lucia uh, in 2008. 
and um, since then I've been the executive director of Bay Gardens Resorts. Um, I think a lot of people are aware that um, my parents, um, Joyce and Desmond Desang, founded the business uh, back in 1994. And, uh, you know, they really, and they, they figuratively and literally shattered every single glass ceiling and debunked every stereotype of what hotel ownership and management is supposed to be. You know, as we uh, get to St. Lucia's 43rd year of, of independence, um, one of the things I'm really looking forward to is people understanding how interdependent we are as, as a people. Um, if there's one thing I believe the pandemic has taught us is that we really can't do it without each other. Um, the theme for Independence 2022 literally speaks towards moving forward together and um, it really is going to take all of us, public sector, private sector, um, entertainment, tourism, agriculture, manufacturing, uh, education, healthcare, um, to really work together towards um, moving St. Lucia forward. So this independence, I just want to say happy independence St. Lucia and let's move forward together as a country. My name is Shakil Felice. I'm currently a civil engineer at the Ministry of Infrastructure. I was awarded the Island School in 2017 and I studied at Safa Construction Engineering from 2012 to 2014. I studied civil engineering at the University of the West Indies, St. Augustine in Trinidad. Employed at the Ministry of Infrastructure as a civil engineer, where I worked on a number of road projects. Yeah. Well, as a civil engineer, I'm primarily involved in the physical development of a country. So, based on the, some of the projects I worked on, it has immensely benefited some of the commuters and residents in some of the areas. Among one of the projects I worked on was a pedestrian bridge in Corinth, where the previous Corinth bridge was very narrow and only allowed one vehicle to pass at a time because of the sidewalks affixed to the bridge. So the scope of works involved demolishing those sidewalks, constructing a new suspended sidewalk over the river, and this allowed two vehicles to pass at the same time and also allowed safety for pedestrians crossing. Some other projects I worked on were the Larry Tret Road, Lage Road, Plateau Road, VG Road, and the Union Grand River Marisil Road. These improved um, safety for both pedestrians and road commuters in terms of sidewalks, road widening, also proper drainage infra infrastructure, improved, well reduced vulnerability to flooding, especially in flood prone areas, retaining walls, reduced landslide, land slippage in those areas. Um, also road projects also provide employment and also increase value of properties in that area as well. Also, give accessibility to residential homes and for emergency vehicles to access those people. Yeah. I'm also in, involved in disaster response, like after Hurricane Elsa, we went out to assess damage, assessment and engaging contractors to clear fallen trees and landslides. So my other future um, plans to give back is probably to open up an engineering firm to hire technical professionals like myself and also probably be a mentor to young students. Probably open a YouTube, start a YouTube, to give crash courses for basic maths courses and other engineering subjects. Oh, I'm really grateful for that island scholarship in terms of financial especially. It put me in a position where, where now I'm, I have no debt to pay back. <laughs> As the first one, because school is very expensive, I find. It's very difficult to get opportunities like that. Either you have to do really well or you have to have no people to get those opportunities. So I'm really grateful for that opportunity. My message to St. Lucian, well, as a civil engineer, you know, I contribute mainly to physical development, but I stand by Sir Arthur Lewis and his argument that the cure for poverty is not money, but knowledge. So I empower all Lucians to um, empower themselves with knowledge so that we as a people can, you know, the human resource is the most important resource in a nation. So if we as a people could educate ourselves and come together, I sure we can not rely on the outside nations and become more independent. That's my message to say. Lucia. Hello, St. Lucia, and happy 43rd independence to us. 
My name is Shania Joseph and I am one of two 2017 Island Scholars. So in 2017, I embarked on a journey to pursue a Bachelor of Science in Economics and Finance from the University of the West Indies, Cave Hill Campus. And in 2020, I graduated with first class honors. Easily one of the best times of my life, I got to go to school without having to worry about finances and so I could have just focused on my academics and extracurricular activities. So I am eternally grateful to the government of St. Lucia for giving me that head start and I am determined to pay it forward and to contribute to the development of St. Lucia. Right now, I work at an international bank right here in St. Lucia as an investment analyst. So on a day-to-day -day basis, I ensure that the bank can meet its short-term liquidity needs. I also research and recommend different assets that we can invest in as well. Having studied finance and working in this field now, I have a master of knowledge on investing and on personal finance that I try to share with other people. And that is one of the primary ways that I give back to St. Lucia. I am a financial literacy advocate. I run a blog where I talk about inflation, taxes, personal finance, and just wise financial decision making, investing, just so solutions can become a bit more financially savvy, especially young people. These are some of the most crucial years of our life. I'm still learning myself. I'm still learning about taxes, mortgages, and how those things work. So when I learn something, I try to share that as well. My goal really is to just educate St. Lucians, to spread awareness and to help St. Lucians better understand the financial markets, the economy and what's going on around them and how that impacts their finances. In the future, I would like to take my contribution a step further by branching out into sustainable finance. So for those of you who don't know, sustainable finance is basically channeling funding to those industries which make a positive impact whether it's on the environment on the society just funding businesses and entities that are making a positive impact as you know no project no entity no business can survive without financing and so finance is one of those key avenues that can really help us to achieve our sustainability goals and this is really important to us as a small island developing state we don't contribute much to climate change but we are on the front lines um, when it comes to the effects of it. So I think that it's crucial that we have persons who are trained in sustainable finance here in St. Lucia to help with the planning and the implementation of these projects that can help us um, become better prepared for any um, climate change events that may happen. When it comes to what I have to say to St. Lucia this Independence Day, I have two bits of advice. The first bit of advice is really simple. Two words, say yes. When an opportunity comes your way, you might feel like you're not 100% ready. You might feel like you're scared. You might be uncertain, but don't let that hold you back. And if you don't know how exactly to go about doing whatever you're asked to do, you can always learn. Everybody is on a learning curve. You're no different and I promise you, you are going to be okay. My second bit of advice to you, St. Lucia, is to be loud and be proud about your accomplishments. You want to let people know what you're capable of. St. Lucia is full of talent. We are brilliant people and there is no reason to hide that. It's something that we should be proud of. So get your accomplish accomplishments out there. Let people know what you're capable of and just attract these opportunities to yourself. <laughs> and when they come, revert to my first piece of advice and say yes. Once again, happy independence, my fellow St. Lucians. And as we celebrate our 43rd year of independence, let us remember this year's theme, Duval Som, celebrating our people, I think. My name is Gillem Raymond and I'm one of St. Lucia's National Island Scholars for the year 2018. Being an Island Scholar has blessed me with the opportunity to further my academic pursuits at Dalhousie University where I'm currently a fourth year mechanical engineering student. I continue to excel academically as I was recognized as one of Dalhousie's Sexton Scholars in the year 2020. The Sexton Scholar Award 
is giving to students of the Faculty of Engineering that has demonstrated exceptional academic performances for the last academic year. In addition to academics, in 2020, I joined the Executive Board of the Dalhousie Caribbean Connections, DCC, as the Vice President. The DCC seeks to help Caribbean students have a more comfortable and wholesome experience throughout their undergraduate studies at university. I also began my professional engineering career as I completed two internships as a project engineer for Bell Canada and also Agropro Dairy Cooperative. As St. Lucia progresses and continues to develop its industrial sector, there will be an increased demand for mechanical engineers. Indeed, it has been noted that there are far fewer mechanical engineers as compared to other engineering disciplines such as civil engineering. I intend to return home with a wealth of knowledge and expertise gained from my experiences abroad to assist in the expansion of our manufacturing industries. I also look forward to playing my part to assist in the mechanization of St. Lucia's agricultural sector. Certainly, as a country, we must enhance our efforts at achieving food security. The ongoing COVID-19 pandemic has shown the glaring need for St. Lucia to be increasingly self-sufficient. Agriculture is one area where we can achieve this within a short time. Progress within the agricultural sector will require a revamp of the archaic and traditional methods with an increased reliance on modern technology. The mechanization and revolution of agriculture will certainly assist in attracting more young people to the sector and ultimately lead to sustained economic development. As I proceed to further my academic and professional career in engineering, I want to encourage the youth and the wider St. Lucian community to accompany me on this journey of excellence, not only in engineering, but in the arts, medicine, sciences, entrepreneurship, whatever your passion may be. Persevere to guarantee the realization of your dreams so we can all move forward together. Nuka Ale Duva Assam, celebrating our people. Happy 45th Independence St. Lucia. Thank you.